And I'm gonna grab the smallest ball here. And we call this the fibular reset. What we're gonna really work on is getting that joint moving again. And what Sarah has done is she's taken the ball and placed it right in front of the ankle bone here. What we're gonna do then is she's gonna load up on that leg and then just slide her foot over the ball. The therapy ball is soft and really cradles the bone. And I'll tell you, this is as effective as me using my own hand as a therapist. What's great is that she can start to work that tissue backwards and simultaneously, she slows it up, she can even start to restore her ankle range of motion. One of the keys to getting this mobilization absolutely accurate, uh, let me just show you this on the skeleton. The ball is placed right in front of that fibular end. And you're trying to track, not, you're not trying to just track the bone across the, the ball across the bone, you're actually trying to move the bone backwards. And as you're moving that bone backwards, everything that's between the ball and the bone is shifted. So you get massive amounts of shear, you get transition in the retinacula, you get shifting in the superficial fascia. I do this just like I floss my teeth, I floss my ankles. Well, and I'll tell you, as a physical therapist, this is the first mobilization I go to when I'm trying to restore someone's ankle range of motion after a sprain, after a tweak, or if someone's got stiff ankles. We clean this right up. We're also in a brilliant position to be able to try to affect how the relationship of the heel bone works to the relationship of the global system here. And what's nice about the system, she's already set up and blocked, and then all Sarah has to do is push on the heel and try to wrap the heel bone around the ball itself. These two mobilizations are viciously effective and really go a long way to making sure that you have normal foot function. 